Over a year ago, I did a video where I struggled to pass fruit and vegetable quizzes, where I had to identify a fruit that is a fruit and a vegetable is a vegetable. And I had so much trouble because I didn't know what any of them were. There were lots of guesses as to why I had so much trouble, but I think I realized it because in between that video and this one, I watched Solar Sand's video on what does your imagination look like? And I realized that I have aphantasia. I had kind of an existential crisis over it because I learned that I do not see in my head the same way anyone else does. You've probably seen this picture. This is level one, two, three, four, and five. And when you say visualize an apple in your head, you most likely fall into one of these categories. I fall into category number five. I don't see anything in my head. And I thought that was normal. When people say picture this my entire life, I didn't know people were actually picturing things. When I close my eyes, I see literally nothing. I just see my eyelids. And apparently that's extremely rare. It's not a big deal, but still. I realized that I will never truly have the full human experience of being able to not only see things in your head, but making things just appear. Like whatever you want. I basically don't have a visual imagination or memory. So when I say like, oh, you, you ask me, what does an apple look like? Well, I can close my eyes and I can say, well, it's red, it's round, it's shiny. It's got this green thing on top. I don't actually see anything. It's all just from memory. But there are so many fruits that match that. It is a fruit, right? <laughs> that match that description. Tomatoes, uh, I have to know fruits to be able to tell you. Peppers, radishes, strawberries, like, uh, so yeah. All right, basically over the past year, I've been trying to learn to see things in my head. Nothing has worked. But with this realization I had eight months ago when he posted this video, I feel like I've tried to adapt. So I am retaking all of the exact same quizzes and I'm going to master them because I now understand myself better and you're gonna come along. Now, I, don't, I did not watch this video. I don't remember what, how I did exactly. I just know it was bad. <sighs> All right, we're starting with the Britannica this or that. Well, let's go. This or that fruit. Oh, there's a timer. I forgot rhubarb. Oh, and I have to remember what they are. I don't know what that is, but I think it's a vegetable. All right, good start, good, good start. Squash is a fruit. Oh, look at that. I'm on a roll. Potato is a vegetable. I swear I have not been training. I am just now a god. Lettuce is a vegetable. That one's kind of easy, obviously. I hope I didn't get that one wrong last time. Cauliflower, vegetable. Look at me go. Cucumber, veg. Oh my god. I was too confident. I went too fast. Okay. I, I really thought, I not even joking, I thought I was going to get a full streak. Olives are vegetables. Like, oh my god, there has to be fruit. I just picked vegetable for everything. Why is olive a fruit? What is an olive? The only olive I know is my blue tongue skink. I named her olive when I was 14. Don't ask why. It's a cute name. Does she look like an olive? I don't know. I don't know what olives look like. I can't see it either. In my head. What do you know? Carrots are vegetable. I do know that. Pea pods. I think the thing behind this is a pea pod. Originally, I thought the thing behind the picture was what it was. Peas. Peas are, are peas see? No, peas are fruits because I almost ran out of time. Wait, did I get it wrong? I ran out of time. Tomato. Oh no. Tomato. Tomato is... Isn't this the one everyone disagrees on? It's a... F okay, fruit. Seven out of ten. All right, I'm actually gonna see what I got on this one. <laughs> I did worse. How did I do worse? This is... <laughs> Do I even post this? This is more embarrassing than the first time. <sighs> Number two, Zimbio. Is this a fruit or vegetable? All right, peppers. I get a picture this time. This is gonna be a little bit easier. Are a fruit because they have seeds, right? Look at that. I think I said vegetable last time. Celery. I don't see any seeds. I think seeds are a pretty safe way to base it. There's also new leaves. Does celery have leaves? This is cut up celery. I don't think celery has leaves, so I think it's a vegetable. All right, ginger. Oh, that's what that is? I saw some in our fridge and I was like, what is that like dried up piece of bark in the fridge? And apparently it's ginger and it's a vegetable. It is, look at that. Peas, uh, we just had peas. And they're, wait, did I get it right or wrong? I don't remember if I said fruit or vegetable and I don't remember if I got it right or wrong, but I think it's a fruit because it, it looks like a fruit. Advertisement, one wheel, make it yours. Yeah, this is the thing. People keep asking what I've been writing in videos. It's a one wheel. Apparently I'm getting ads even though I already have one. Kiwis, I see those little seeds. I'm gonna say a fruit. Tomatoes, I do remember I just said fruit for this one. I am on a roll. That's what an olive looks like. 
What? I think I've used to seen pickled olives. You know that clip of uh, the the show? I don't know what show it is. The woman that has a fear of olives and they show a jar of olives and she cries. I, I assume those are pickled olives the same way a cucumber, like, yeah, you know what I'm, I'm just gonna say fruit. Okay, that's right. Broccoli, the best vegetable. What are the best fruit, but I think it's a vegetable. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, what do we get this time? That looks really gross. What is that? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Avocado, well, there is a big old pit in the center, but I think I read some article on avocados. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure the pit is not a seed or maybe it is a seed. You know when people post some like uh, political thing on Facebook and they're like, I read this here, but they can't remember if it's this, this binary side or that binary side. Yeah, that's me. And I got it wrong. It's a fruit. Beans. Beans? Beans are beans. I think that's what I said in the last video. Beans are just beans. They're not fruits or vegetables. I am very consistent. I so I haven't watched this video in a year. Beans are beans. I, so I guess beans are fruit. I don't know why, but I'm right. Cause I'm always right. Cause everything else is edited out. All of my wrongdoings were not visible. Leafy stuff, I can pretty safely say it's a vegetable. Wait, so where does spinach come from? Do you, do you put the leaf in the ground? <laughs> or do they grow on trees? Sorry, I'm not, all right. Pumpkins, they do have seeds. But they're like a gourd, so I think they're a vegetable. But they have fruit. I'm. They have fruit. They have seeds. Okay. I think. I think I messed that one up last time. Cucumber. This is hard because I always thought this was a vegetable, but I think since it has seeds, I have to say fruit. Yeah, I'm right actually. And when I think of pickles, I think of. I don't know. Never mind. Carrots. Where to got this one? And um, beets. Uh, it grows in the ground, you pull it up, it's it's a root. It's a root. So it's a vegetable. All right, how'd I do? 93, that has to be better than last time. I Please, be better than last time. Look at that. Okay, so I think this can be evidence. When there's pictures, I do better. I did 20% better this time because I had pictures to go along with them. I had heard of all the other fruits and vegetables. I'm sure I even ate them all but I didn't know what they were. All right, moving on. Final one of the day, the borderline impossible veggie quiz. I have no idea what this GIF is, but it's powered by Giphy. Let's begin with an easy one. All right, so for this one, I just have to say what it is. And I, I'm sure it's the exact same as last time. I don't know who would possibly update their vegetable quiz, especially on BBC. Doesn't BBC have better things to do? Whatever, it's giving me content. There's only eight. Here we go. Is this a marrow or a Japanese pumpkin? I do not know what either of those are but it looks kind of like an American pumpkin, a normal, a non-Japanese pumpkin, but more Eastern, I guess. So I'm gonna say that. Look at that. Let's get to the root of the problem. Wow, I thought my jokes were, my jokes are amazing. This joke is amazing too. <laughs> root of the problem. Jerusalem artichoke, ginger root or Swede? I think it's ninja root. Oh, it looked like the ginger, so I'm not, taking any shame for that, despite it looking like a root of a ginger. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. It's an artichoke. Okay, I don't know what an artichoke is. Well, that's an artichoke. We just learned something, boys. And in a year, I'm gonna totally forget and have to do this again. Are you going to have a light bulb moment when you remember this? Kohlrabi. I think I pronounced that right. I had trouble last time. Fennel and turnip. It's not a turnip. Fennel? Oh my God. I thought I said kohlrabi last time I was wrong. Okay, pumpkin or butternut squash. It looks too consistent to be a pumpkin because pumpkin insides are gross, but not a squash. Look at that. Well, that looks kind of onto a veg that's perfectly appealing. Salsify or parsnip? Wait, what? This is pasta. Oh, that's not pasta. I thought, oh, wait. Is it pasta and then I'm saying what the green stuff is or is that yellow stuff not pasta? The stuff on top has to be parsnip. Oh, that isn't pasta. Sorry, chefs. All right, three more. This veg packs a purple punch. Is it purple cauliflower or purple sprouting broccoli? I like the sound of that, so I'm gonna say that, and it's right. Celery, I got it. No problem. Red alert, what's this? Red cabbage, red chicory. Who names these? Are they just writing out of English words? Chicory, chicory, or red kale. It looks too thick to be kale. Uh, cabbage, I think is not, I think it's more circular, so it's chicory. And I'm right, I don't need the visual memory. I'm using the formula of deduction. Is that what it's called when you take a test and you're like, it's not this one, deduct it. It's not that one, deduct it. And then you have two less and you have to guess. I don't think that's what it's called in school, but six out of eight. I think that's better as well. Let's find out. 
I improved again. And that one was actually kind of hard. I went from a 50% to whatever six out of eight is, which is not 50%. It's not 100%, but it's higher. And so in conclusion, I'd say I've improved overall. I've learned to adapt and overcome and adapt and improvise. And that's the results. I, I really like taking the online quizzes. I like doing, uh, basically, if you haven't seen it, I have a playlist called No Herping. I mean, none of my videos are herping, but these are especially not herping where I do stuff like uh, do quizzes, fill out stuff, IQ test, whatever. So if you have any suggestions, don't link it in the comments because your comment will be marked as spam, but just say what the quiz is and then I can look it up. So like say there's vegetable quiz, so you can put that. It can be whatever I've done. Uh, am I a furry? Personality test, whatever. They're fun and you actually like them. It's, it's like the one reptile content that you're actually okay with. So that's it for this video. You can check out the playlist if you want more. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm tired. And thanks for watching.